Burgess eventually, well, he's already got his bottle up and running, so it's not that bad. He's got the regeneration. Uh, top lane, there may be, if Barev stays here a little bit too long, yep, MMY's gonna rotate up, the chilling touch, time. the bonus damage is there, and LGD, they didn't even need the bonus damage, they claim first blood. So many times before as well, he's really solid at it. And Dooku is really spending so much mana to try and go for Xiao Wei. He went for oh. another kinetic field there. Lion coming in. Uh, yeah. Kiro's still got refraction charges up. He's also got melt. And with no detection available, he can just hide inside that. Or they can go for the kill. Maybe. He's gonna start dropping low. Bebby with QO. He needs to get that damage off, but he can't do it. Bebby's gonna finish the job with one Frost Blast. So it will be a one for one trade off, but the Templar Assassin dying first. Bebby's on the run. Now almost a core. He's got a creep wave coming in behind him. But MMY, he cannot reach him. Bebby will get back over to the Radiant side of the river. It, it is going to be hard for him to stay there though, because you never know when the lion is going to come around again. And the tide is not that tanky. Oh, bottom lane, there's your jump. They're looking for Xiao Wei. Baby's on his way over. Frost Blast will be triggered. Xiao Wei still wants to run away. The sprint. Amplifies damage a little bit. A double Lame. crush available, but Dubu, he held onto the glimpse for so long, and even a time lock from MP, allowing Faceless Void to get the kill on the captain of LGD. They understand the QO is doing the farm, but if you move aggressively with maybe, the, the jig is up. And definitely, but they're gonna go for it anyway. Oh, fine. Febby's in the neighborhood. He doesn't have his chain frost yet. QO, they get the hex off. He's got meld, he's got refraction. He can't get either off. The control is just too good from MMY. Stacks. So they try and loop in behind the tower. Go further down their observer. Well, it's gonna reveal the fact that he's not there. In fact, QO has moved all the way down to the bot lane where Xiao Wei makes his way over to Dubu, gets the crush off. With the amplification, Dubu has to commit the ultimate as well as very fire. Can't walk out in time. And QO coming up to Xiao Wei, but that smoke rotation is still coming. So the amplifying over on QO. Oh. Baby's in the neighborhood. The wolves are gonna scout him out so they can see perfectly the targets they want. Xiao Wei now into the sprint. It's the crush over around. on QO. The Lich is gonna bounce, but it's actually lost inside the creep wave with a stun on QO. That TA will be lost. Perev comes in, but it's too late. The Tide Ravage won't create enough space. And now it's actually Bebby being hunted down by Aggressive. The Wolf will get the last pole swipe in. And LGD, easy rotation to bot. Yeah, that was a long telegraph rotation as well. Vanguard coming out on the voids. Really want to see his max HP. Really want to see his blink dagger timing too. That's the one thing for LGD where they need to have their items to get that initiation off. Both the blinks over on over on Lion as well as on Xiao Wei. Or you can just do this. Walk in, ice blast. Now MP commits the ultimate. He goes for MMY in the back line. Thanks to Dubu. You have lost the Tide Hunter. And Xiao Wei, he's got Crush at Babel. Dubu. Gets it over on Dubu. Doesn't get on MP, but with maybe rotating over, Dubu way too far up. Easy pick off for the TPing support of LGD. LGD to that tier 1 tower on bot and inching forward. Because the observe ward behind the tower, he's actually got a better position for glimpses. It also means he can glimpse away TPing support, something which LGD may not be ready for. Thing is, Lion has his blink now, he's coming over. MP, there's your jump. Chronosphere going on, maybe QO. Perfect crush from Xiao Wei, keeping QO out as well as Barev. The ice blast will fly, doesn't really hit properly, and thanks to the storm, it keeps LGD Wolf back coming in through one tower. But, and the blink ravage, catching four heroes. They really want that death of the Viper, and they might be able to claim it. The mech makes difficult, but in comes aggressive from the back line. You may have claimed the Viper, but on one pass, you've lost three underneath your own tower. Dubu can't even get out, he'll get crushed, and a triple kill for aggressive. Oh, that's such a disaster. All your ult is expended. This is where MVP needed to be stronger. And still, LGD just take the fight. They give the pressure to that tier 2 tower on bottom lane. It's very easy to do. Aggressive's Necro books come back off court. He's already got level 2 Necro oh, in the middle pick. lane. The Ice Blast, Xiao Wei gets the crossover on Febby. Doesn't actually get hit properly by the oh. Ice Blast. Now Xiao Wei, they can turn this one around. The Glimpse pulling him back near the tier 2 tower. So Xiao Wei giving about 400 gold over. MP wants to go for more. Finding him and why even gets a time lock on top of the TA trap. Support is there for LGD. The question is they want to fight it. With the Necro books coming in, Aggressive making oh, it play. So There's no Chronosphere available. Now Aggressive trapped inside the storm. The wall, they do still kill off QO, but it's aggressive, keep his life up. Maybe he's on the way. The next card to be there, aggressive tanking through it, but now the Lich holds him. They'll end up triggering off the Aegis Immortal. The Necrobooks will hold the chain for us. Oh, the Lich! Oh, no! He killed himself, but he's our ultimate! Oh, oh, baby! I don't know if calculated or just unintentional awesomeness, but LTD! They the smoking.
LGD are on their way. They're going to come in to the Wolves are Sky Jungle. So much. They know everything right now. He has one right in the tail of Dubu. The blink cross is catching Dubu as well. QR, the rabbit however, combining up with the storm. There may be enough damage. QR trying to hunt an HM person down. Now the Lynch holding, bouncing around LGD. They're able to defuse the situation until the Chronosphere locking in Zhao Wei. They want him dead and they're going to get him dead. But this is a one for one trade off. The damage is gone. Dubu wants to TP out with the wall. He's almost able to do so. The Lycan was there to finish the job. MP still not safe. Poor staff. Uh, MMY oh. actually getting caught, turned around. MP will be able to time walk away. MVP in this scenario. MVP's got to come back. Already LGD, they're about to walk up the hill. The observer wall gets placed. So LGD have perfect vision inside the MVP base. Noticing MPs on the front line. Oh, Xiao Wei jumps over on Perev. Taking some decent damage. Has to already trigger the pipe. And it's only on the... Actually, it does blend over to MP. They get rid of the Observe Ward, removing that vision, and now Perev jumps in. They need to kill on Aggressive with a Storm up, and also maybe controlled Aggressive. The Aegis Immortal will pop. Perev has to back up now with a Finger of Death. Perev, he's going to tick down low, maybe as he's dodging the Mel Strike with that Mana Style, and Aggressive BKB. He's hunting, he's hunting for Templar Assassin, even oh, Crystal down too, looking for Dubu. The dog is mad. But his BKB is worn off, so now he has to be a little bit more passive. Templar Assassin does not have buyback. Rack so this is a top Rack's going to try and glimpse aggressive back into the wall with the chain frost. But Xiao Wei, a triple crush on the back line. MMY, a follow-up double stun, keeping him in check. And Dubu, he'll die to maybe, maybe just easily move forward. Now attack to MP with the time walk himself away from this one. LGD still with all five players up are looking to go even further than this. They can turn to the mid rack with a cross from Xiao Wei. The ice blast coming in. MP Febby. There goes the pop. Faithless Void is down. He still has a buyback, but there is no Chronosphere available for a minute. And you they don't have combos. Up. They keep going. They have so much to just keep pushing here. Vlad, Mech, Radiant keeping them healthy. Void buybacks, but how are they going to fight this? Uh, they're trying to anchor smash and remove some of the damage. MP's coming in for Ev. There's your double stun from Xiao Wei. He's been all over MVP. Aggressive is dropping low. The four stops him away. Perev just can't keep up with this one. They're trying job. to buy time until TA is back. The time will find back. TA's alive. They blink themselves forward. They need exit kills right now on LGD. They're all fairly low, but how do you find it? The Necrobooks even make a bit of a buffer, so they can't get close enough, and TA doesn't even care about hunting the hero. She goes up to farming the Camps. Well, you don't. You have Void cr or, or Chrono Ravage of cooldown in seven seconds time. Yeah, they want to. They know they can't just scale into late game, so they have to take a fight here. It's the them out. Yeah, perfect scan. They understand where they are anyway. The, it just oh, confirms like they're in the trees. Him. And now, well, where's your run in? There goes your Ravage. QOS BKB. They completely pop off that ancient apparition. But the disruptor is a trade of the gem is lost in the tree lines at the moment. And MP will get the chrono off, but he doesn't get aggressive. Hey. Meaning QO can't escape, and he locks his own teammate in. The Tidehunter gets pulled and locked, gets drained out, wants to TP out. The sun is there, plus the finger of death from MMY. MVP, they have lost too much. And Xiao Wei, he's already there, waiting with open arms to hug MP into oblivion. MMY drain it out, and that's four heroes gone. They and with that, LGD can take mid racks. Yeah, they're gonna call GG. it. GG, GG. What an amazing performance by LGD. They're just showing time and time again, they're not a one-trick pony team. They play so many different styles throughout this playoff. Before, I looked at a lot of their recent replays before the event, they didn't actually play that many different uh, varieties. But here at the main event, they're just saying, okay, we, we have the individual talent, we have Xiaowei.